Mary Ellen and Gabby, that was fantastic. Thank you for organizing that and having those uh, young kids lead us. That was awesome. We uh, had a good moment this weekend at the... Um, at our men's camping trip with the Trail Life boys. We had a really precious devotional last night, mostly led by the boys. And it's just, uh, it's special. And um, these younger folks can do these things because uh, they think in ways that we don't always think and they're right on. And it's just, uh, it's special. We'll maybe share some details about that uh, at another time. Uh, before John Hagen comes and shares the word, I have just a, a couple of announcements. And uh, Barbara, if you wanna make your way up, the only one I'm going to make is to mark your calendars for April 20th. 24th. April 24th is going to be our next um, lunch after our service, and Lucas Morrell is going to run a, uh, a mini seminar on critical race theory, so you're invited to come have lunch with us, and Lucas is going to lead us in that. So there will be more details to come. Keep an eye on your emails. That information's been coming, but just note um, April 24th for that date. I have to just start with a, a little personal testimony. <clears throat> Palm Sunday is very special to me because uh, a long time ago, 49 years ago, I woke up that morning knowing that Jesus was calling me and I was born again. April 15th, Palm Sunday, 49 years ago, which this year is actually Good Friday. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. I'm up here to actually make an announcement for Comfort Care. It's that time of year again, time for the stride. So I know that it's the day before Mother's Day, May 7th, which some people have other plans for that day, which are very special. But if you can be there, that would be wonderful. And the routine is the same as always. I've put um, forms in your mailboxes, except I ran out, so I will bring more next week. The forms you can use many ways. You can use those to record people who you're going to ask to support you, or you can just stick them on your fridge as a reminder or carry it around with you to get people's names, and then you can register online, which is really easy to do, and it makes it easier for Comfort Care to keep track of who's coming. But if you can't do that, you can register the day of. Um, I don't know how many of you know where the um, Star Trail and Woodrow Wilson Rehab Center Lake Pavilion is. It's over there by Woodrow Wilson in Fishersville. It's a really nice lake. And the stride, um, they, you walk around the lake, so it's a very pleasant walk. Um, it starts at 9 o'clock on May 7th for registration and just hanging out and seeing other people who are there to walk. And then the walk actually begins at 10, and it takes about not even 30 minutes. Um, so I think that's all I need to tell you, except they're trying to make it more fun and exciting for everybody. So this year, if you raise $200, you get a T-shirt. Not this T-shirt. This is my own personal T-shirt. Um, it's a short sleeve t-shirt, as usual. If you raise $600, you get a t-shirt and a beanie. Kind of like Sunny's got on her head, or it'll have a thing on. If you raise $1,000, you get the whole outfit. You get no pants. You get a t-shirt, a beanie, and a fleece vest. Three pieces. Woohoo! So, how easy is that? So, if you can't be there, you can still raise money. You can go walk around that lake anytime you want to. Or, if not, you don't have to do that either. You can just get people to support you or support yourself. And let's make this the best one ever. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, just let me know. Kate has something to share. 
Good morning. Um, I'm here just to extend an invitation to a certain group of people. So if you are a woman between the ages of approximately 20 to 40-ish, um, I'm going to be leading a book study uh, based on this book, Mama Bear's Apologetics. This is um, about basically looking at the cultural lies of some of the common worldviews um, and how we can engage them ourselves, um, but how to teach our kids uh, as they're coming home with questions, how we can answer their questions, um, but also how we can teach them to learn to think about these ideas more critically according to a biblical worldview. So I'm going to be doing this on a Wednesday afternoon from 1 to 2.30. Um, there is a possibility, I think, of having child care. I know there are more women that are interested in maybe doing an evening study, which uh, I don't have the ability to do right now, maybe coming down the pike in the future. Um, so let me know if you're interested. I'm not going to be here next week, so please um, catch up with me today if you can um, so I can order the books. And I'm looking at starting probably the last week in April on a Wednesday. What is that? The 27th, I think. Yep on the 27th. So come see me if you're interested. Thank you. John Hagen, we're excited to have you come up and share the word for us. So why don't you uh, come on up at, at this time and we'll uh, prepare our hearts to receive what the Lord wants to speak through you. 